Today, I'm going to learn to speedrun Tears of the Kingdom. I'll be doing the Master Sword category, where you start a new game and get the Master Sword as fast as possible. This run is tricky, because the Master Sword is constantly moving throughout the whole map. This randomness means you need to be an expert improviser to beat the run. Unfortunately, I'm not good at thinking on my feet. So, I made a randomizer mod to improve my ability to improvise while I'm doing the speedrun. This mod randomly changes every enemy and weapon in the game, so this Bokoblin can become a Talus, and this Lionel might have Butter Sword. The world record for this speedrun is around 1 hour 30 minutes, but after completing the 24 required shrines, it takes them a whole 6 minutes to find and obtain the Master Sword. This is obviously because all the randomness is at the end of the run. They spend so long playing a memorized sequence of events that they aren't prepared for the unknown. For my speedrun, I won't know what's going on the whole time, which should let me go much faster. Once we get control of our character, the timer starts and we sprint through the intro section and encounter the first enemies in the game. Okay, so there's supposed to be some cheese here normally if you've ever played the game. These are not bats. They're kind of really weak to me with a Master Sword though. We're just going to destroy these guys. This is a speedrun after all. And now we're going to get, I think, the only unrandomized weapon, the Decayed Master Sword. Now that we've got this predictable weapon out of the way, it's time to get random. What do we want to do first? Oh, this is a duplex bow? We need arrows, though. That is a black problem. Oh god, there's a weapon right there. I need to get it. No! Uh, weapon, weapon. Oh my god, it's another bow. I need to go around. That's another bow. I don't need any more bows. Alright, we're just gonna maybe trigger this cutscene. Hopefully he'll go away. Oh, he doesn't see me. Is that just a fire rod? Dinral hammer. Yeah, I'll take that. Sure. Oh, shoot. He's like stuck in the wall. Oh god. Okay, he's just a regular frog. He shouldn't be that strong. I'm just gonna run away. Please do not come after me in the water. What? What just happened? I saw like a big shadow. Did he land on me? Now, getting body slammed by a frog this early in the run isn't optimal, but it does teach us our first lesson of improvising. Stealth. Okay, that didn't work. I mean, running away. Okay, I do not want to be in water right now. Oh, I have such little stamina. I don't think he sees me anymore. So now that we've mastered the art of stealth, we can unlock the tutorial shrines. Normally, in a speedrun, you want to get Ascend first, since it makes movement a lot faster. But that Frox is still there. So first, we need to grab some arrows from this guy, and now it's time for round two. Alright, we gotta be fast. Oh, I need to leave. I need to get out right now. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. <laughs> You're gonna bet on eight attempts? Come on, that was actually pretty close. We're saving so much time here. Alright, we're gonna start the same. It was a really good start. Uh, shit. Oh my god, that hit. I need to get out before he damages me. I've got two arrows. I really need to make this count. Frogs were not meant to be fight or fought while being inside of a tree, so it's a little jank right now. Alright, we're just gonna go over here. We're fine. And then this thing. Okay, and we're at full health. I think we have one shot protection. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Where did it just go? Hello? You know what? I'm gonna take that. That's a victory right there. Hell yeah, we did it. We beat the frog, second try. With that out of the way, we can clear the Ascend Shrine and start moving much faster. Ultra Hand is next, but that doesn't have any enemies, so we can head towards the final shrine on the main island. This is a very suspicious looking tree. Oops. Again, first lesson of improv. All right, new plan, run away. I just want to fight like slightly fewer enemies at a time. Oh my God, there's a tree right behind me. Don't sneak up on me like that, man. Okay, just gonna chop you. Why does this guy have so much health? Fuck. Alright, just one more hit. Or four more hits. Perfect. Oh, no wonder that one-shotted me. Fuse Shrine, I feel like this is when we are gonna get a lot more powerful. This is the guy that one-shotted me. Oh, there's two enemies? And he- <laughs> Did he just fuse a paraglider? And now he's gone. Okay. I think the game is a little bit confused right now. After that, we can finish the tutorial island without any more enemies. And I know what you're thinking, that was pretty fast. But was it random enough? 
Honestly, I'm not sure. So to play it safe, we're going to take this mod to the next level. Till now, we've been playing on the easy mode of my randomizer, where enemies are random, but each enemy appears about as often as in the regular game. Now that the tutorial is done, it's time to activate chaos mode. This makes every enemy equally likely, which should speed things up. Now we can start the main part of this speedrun. Getting the Master Sword requires 5 stamina upgrades, which means we have to do 20 more shrines, starting with this one by Lookout Landing. I can't tell, is this like a easy flux construct or a hard one? Whoa my god, Jesus Christ! Yeah, we'll do the hammer. Let's do this! Oh, he doesn't even flinch! Fuck! Oh, we did it! Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me! <laughs> I hear Kinox music. I do not see one, though. So it might be, like, in a cave underground. That is a Lionel. I'm gonna steer clear of him. This is insane. Uh, this is... This is true improvisation. What is over there? Is that... That is a Mukturak. <laughs> okay, we're not we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna mind our own business. Right, here's the shrine. This shrine doesn't have any enemies, just some puzzles. But there was a bug in my code, which made the puzzles a lot harder than I remember or something. Very smart, I swear. I'm very good at this game. I need a different perspective. That's what this challenge is all about. See, now that I'm looking at it from this angle, I see that I definitely need to do something else. The world record only does this a few seconds faster, probably, so I should still be on pace. I see flapping wings in the direction that I need to go. Oh, it's a Colgiera. Huh. Got it. If I'm going to be fighting Colgieras this often, then I want the paraglider. He's just like stuck in the castle. Is that another? There's two of them. There's one right there, and then there's another one clipped inside of the castle. As a reminder, I just finished the tutorial, so the idea of fighting two of the game's final bosses right next to each other is pretty scary. I'm gonna need to prep for these fights, so I decided my next shrine would be combat training, which should teach me some useful strategies for fighting these bosses. Oh, come on! No! Alright, we gotta learn to fight against a Lionel. Use side hop to avoid enemy attacks. Okay. Side hop. I did what the game told me to do. Lesson two of improv. Side hop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, we hit the cutscene trigger. I'm so fucked. I, I do know the controls, thank you. Alright, just gotta break his armor. Oh no, 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 no! He's so fast! Okay. I side hopped. I side hopped. There we go, finally. Okay, I need to jump earlier. We almost have the armor destroyed. Finally. Another flurry rush. See, this, this shrine is teaching me so much about combat right now. No! It's those side hops, man. They're really tough. That's why they made this shrine so hard. They gotta drill it into you. See, the problem there, I side hopped when I should have backwards hopped. I didn't know that because the game hasn't hasn't told me. It's only shown me how to side hop so far. All right, we just need like one more hit on his armor. There we go. Fire? Okay. I'm starting to recognize his patterns. Side hop! Uh oh. Oh my god! That was so close. I didn't have my shield out. I'm just gonna go for it with the Molduga Bone. We're so close. Yes! Oh, we got it! Oh my god. That was so hard. I'm so good at side hopping now. Woo! And after a quick 30 minutes, we've successfully mastered the side hop technique. Which won't actually help us fight these Kulgeras, since you can't side hop in the air. So instead, I improvised a different strategy, where I run past them like a coward. But then they tried a strategy where they spawn Ganondorf, and then a Queen Gibdo, and then they crash my game. Oh. So then I tried re-randomizing, so ten bosses wouldn't all be on top of each other. But that didn't help. Why is there still a Kulgera? There's still two. 
I even tried changing my code on stream to make dungeon bosses less common, but even with my beautiful, perfect code, the game crashed again. I had no choice. I had to turn off chaos mode. I wanted to keep going and figure out what was wrong, but I was doing a speedrun, and the world record doesn't spend most of their time coding, probably. So I had to swallow my pride and accept the third lesson of improv. Get better at coding. Now it's time to get this speedrun back on track. We'll grab the paraglider and start doing the fastest shrines of my life. After some puzzle shrines, we encounter our first proving grounds, where all of our items and armor is taken, and we have to beat all the enemies in the shrine using only the random equipment we're given. We have a spiked bow, no arrows, a big radish claymore. I'm gonna try sneaking up on this guy. Oh. There we go. He's so spicy. How do I? He's tired. I did not know they did that. What was that? <laughs> Some enemy I didn't even see just shot me in one hit. Bomb flowers, yes, arrows. And we can kill you with a bomb. Thank God we have a radish on this claymore, otherwise we'd be doing no damage. I'm just gonna sneak up on this guy. We have dough bone you in the face. Oh, he's not dead. Now he is. Easy. That was pretty cool. But honestly, it just felt wrong. All I fought were Bokoblins and Lozalfos. I barely improvised. I didn't die nearly enough. Chaos mode needs to work, or I have no chance at this world record. As a legendary improv comedian, Shigeru Miyamoto once said, A delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed speedrun is bad forever. Which, now that I say it out loud, doesn't make any sense for speedrunning, but... The problem with day one was my speed. Normally in this game, when you want to move fast, it looks like this. It's called Fuse Entanglement, and it's way faster than what I've been doing. The catch is that this uses a lot of shield durability, so normally you want to grab the Hylian shield from the castle and not use whatever I have. But weapons are random, so I can't do that. My backup plan is to grab Auto Build, so at least I can hover bike around the map. Now that we're moving fast, it's time to crush some shrines. And my goal of mostly doing, what are they called, Proving Ground Shrines, where you do a lot of combat, like this one, I'm still trying to do that. Got a dragon, he doesn't seem to notice me right now, that's good. How do I even get his attention? Oh, that got his attention, oh, okay. So normally what you wanna do is shoot these guys in the face, right? Can I parry his? I don't think that damaged him at all. <laughs> No fucking way that's possible. I should not beat it without a bow. Okay, I did not crush that shrine. I forgot that chaos mode makes bosses like dragons hundreds of times more common. That will require some extra improvising. Mainly, I'll have to make sure to always have arrows, take cover behind walls and not trees, and never get distracted. Forgot the dragon could still see me. Now that I'm an expert at all of these strategies, these bosses don't stand a chance. Am I about to fight Gloomhands? My other attacks are ineffective. I need to throw my weapon. Got it. Weapon! That didn't do anything. Oh, it says it's a wind weapon. Shit. Backup plan. Bombs. I will take some of the blame for that. I'm not a marksman. I never claimed to be good at archery. But I think I know what the problem was. I shot my bomb when I should have thrown it. My other attacks are ineffective here. The game said it itself. Steady my aim. Throw. Boom. Look at that damage. Beautiful. Throw. Oh, that, that was that was my bad. A little too much strength behind it. Not have any more bombs left. And they've got me cornered. They just keep grabbing me. No. Oh, one more. There we go. Maybe freeze rod? Okay, back to ruby rod. We're just gonna switch back and forth, I guess. Nope! Let go of me! Freeze rod. Powerful weapon. I think I can just smack you. Is there gonna be- yeah, there's a phantom ganon. Freeze rod should work. Where is he? That did not work. Can he not get frozen? Huh? Let's see how much this does. 
Oh, that's not a lot. I think this is like the Korok Forest Phantom Ganon, who just happens to have twice as much health as the others. I'm so bad. No! Oh. <laughs> he cornered me. Blurry Rush. I think this will do a lot more damage. Oh yeah, look at that. Get out of here. Oh, that didn't kill. No problem. Okay, so far every combat shrine we've gotten has been a mini boss. I feel like we're in for something nice and easy. It should even out. See what I mean? I'm gonna follow the instructions exactly. You can reflect a projectile if you parry with your shield. All right, we gotta parry this bat. I don't think I've ever parried a heast before, but this should be pretty tough. Attack me. Attack me, you coward. Do it. He doesn't see me. I can't parry him. It's not working. Can I shield surf on him? No, I just landed right on him. It didn't do anything. All right, let's try lesson from the last shrine. Ready, aim, throw. Why did the, the door didn't open? <laughs> no, wait, no, I can't get out either. Am I trapped? Again, third lesson, get better at coding. This should hopefully be a beatable proving grounds. No dragons, no dragons, no dragons. Enox, that's doable. What am I holding in my hand? <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of swords, arrows, no bow though. I cannot shoot this guy in the eye. He's holding a flame axe. I don't want to fight him if I can't stun him. Let me get in this car. Oh my God, it's so slow. Go, 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 go. Does anyone have a bow? Hello, sir. Do you have, are you an archer? Do any of you happen to be archers? Did he leave a flame axe just for me? I've got so many weapons. I might as well throw this guy, right? Okay. And then I'll light you on fire. So you can't attack me. All right. I've just got everyone on me right now and I'm safe. We're gonna go over here. And I think there's a beam emitter that we can use. Oh my God, what? I thought it would just run him over and kill him. What is in here? Oh, oh, this is what we needed. All right, here we go. Let's make the ultimate weapon. We need to be conscious of batteries. We only have one battery right now. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, it's a shock emitter. It's not a flame emitter. Oh, it's useless. <laughs> you have infinite battery in these shrines? That, I probably should have been reading chat. Whatever, I definitely would have cannoned myself in the face instead of flamethrowing myself in the face if I had known that. Why don't I just put it on the front? Because then it can't flamethrow me. Okay, no chance that I fucked this up. stationary turret and lead enemies to it that sounds so much less fun than what's going on right now oh yeah get shit on dude oh my god this guy's still frozen he doesn't know what's happening Just the hinox and the like like left all right i want to grab this guy wow he's fast He just destroyed it in one hit, or in one sit, I guess. All right, we're back to square one. Okay, I wanna grab a cannon from in here. Actually, no, I'll grab the one from my car and we're just gonna ultra hand it. No, no, oh my God, I almost just hit myself. Here he is. Yeah, the aim is much better here. I just noticed that Lazolfo is still alive. Just accept your fate, dude. Okay, plan C, run. No! <laughs> In my casual mind, I'm like, use arrows, use arrows, just shoot them in the head. And then I don't have arrows. And so I think, what's the next best thing? Throw whatever you're holding at them. And then I die, but this time, it's definitely gonna work. Step one, get the axe. Step two, flee. Step three, 
Use the axe to kill the wizard. Get the wizard's weapon. Kill the Lizolfo. Now we make our getaway. All right, I think ground vehicles are no good. If we've got infinite battery, I say we just snipe him from the sky. Get on and fly away beautifully into the sunset. That thing is not going to shoot me, right? I feel I really feel like it's going to shoot me. Don't kill me. Oh my god. No one should have seen that coming. Hang on, I have a way better idea. Why don't I have the construct head facing down? Yeah, that seems way more accurate. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that damage. All right, everyone's at like half-ish health right now. We're doing really good right now. Okay, this guy's out in the open and he's gone. The Wizrobe was still there and he's gone. This electric Lizolfo, I think he just needs one more hit. That's it. Why did they give you infinite battery in these shrines? Like it's easy mode, but I absolutely needed easy mode to beat this. Can it target the Hinox, please? He's about to go to bed. He's bored. There we go. Boom. That is a big fat W right there. That's the kind of proving grounds I want to see. Something that's hard, but inherently doable. That was a lot of fun. I loved that. So at this point, I've done 17 shrines. So I'm going to go to the Korok Forest. Here we need to free the Toroks by defeating the boss under the Deku Tree. Then we can do three more shrines in this area, talk to the Deku Tree, and finally locate the Master Sword. Bone monsters try to stop you. Oh no, the bone monsters! Oh, that is a Talus. Where'd he go? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not think this shrine would be so hard! We just have every mini boss over here right now. Oh, of course it's one with the Phantom Ganon. Of course. I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna be a little smarter about this now that I know that there's a ton of really scary enemies waiting for me. Use that. Okay, clear out these enemies. Now we only have the hands to deal with. Okay, that went really well. Side up. And get out of here. Is he gonna stick around this time? Okay, we have a stone talus sledge. That should be really effective. That went so well. Okay, I think that's it. Seek the crystal connected to the beam. Isn't this on a talus or something. Is that still gonna be there? There's no beam. It was connected to an enemy. We did it for nothing. No! Nine and a half hours in, we have our final shrine orb. All right, statue, I wanna pray. Come on, come on, come on, pray faster. Two wheels, just a little more. And let's do this, I'm pressing A. Every shrine we've done, every random enemy we've faced, I see flashing before me, prepared us for this very moment, where we can get a very non-random weapon. And we got it. And just like that, after 9 hours, 13 crashes, and a lot of improvising, I got last place on the leaderboard by about 6 hours. But the final time isn't what matters in this speedrun. Between getting the final shrine orb and finding the master sword in its random location, it took me 5 and a half minutes a whole 30 seconds faster than the world record. Now that is some good improv. And that's not all. The speedrun may be over, but now that we have the Master Sword, we can finally go under the castle and save Hyrule from Randomdorf. So they're all book goblins, right? And now they're not. <laughs> I lasted two seconds. Hey, thanks for watching to the end of the video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a year. I didn't plan on taking a break for that long, but it was definitely for the best. If you want to know what I've been up to the past year, join the Discord, you can chat about the cool things I've been learning. Obviously, Tears of the Kingdom modding is one of them, 
This is the first full TOTK mod I've made, and I had a lot of fun doing it. I have a lot more ideas too. So if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, press the buttons that make the video do good. Also, if you have ideas for other Tears of the Kingdom or Pokemon mods, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'll see you for the next one.